exhibitions have always played a vital role in bringing Patek Philippe's watchmaking to a wider public. From the company's formative years to today's dazzling show in Singapore. During the 19th century, international trade fairs became important places for manufacturers to introduce their products. And it seems most likely that it was at the 1844 Paris exhibition that Antoine Norbert de Patek first came across Jean-Adrien Philippe, whose groundbreaking keyless winding mechanism was on display. Six years later, in 1851, the Great Exhibition opened in London's Hyde Park. It showcased products from all over the world, including a splendid display of Swiss watches. In the first three months, Queen Victoria visited almost every day. She purchased a blue enamel Patek Philippe watch, which provided invaluable publicity for the young company. In 1853, America had hosted its first World's Fair, the exhibition of the works of industry in New York, at which Patek Philippe won its first silver medal. The company would go on to take part in five American World's Fairs, the last was also in New York in 1964, the year of Patek Philippe's 125th anniversary. Among the company's display at the Swiss Watch Pavilion were two timepieces from the opposite ends of its history, the watch that Queen Victoria bought at the Great Exhibition of 1851 and one that was described as a futuristic digital clock. The thinking behind this display, combining historical pieces and new models, paved the way for an all-encompassing horological extravaganza that was unveiled in Dubai in 2012. This exhibition has since visited Munich in 2013, London in 2015, and New York in 2017, where an extraordinary 27,000 people were able to see contemporary and historical timepieces, meet watchmakers, and see artisans at work. This fall, the exhibition travels to Singapore, where a new collection of specially made pieces will be revealed.